welcome to our video tutorial where we illustrate using Excel and VBA string functions to manipulate text strings with VBA code. We discuss the functions left, mid, len, replace, in string and so on. Some string functions can be used similarly as worksheet and VBA functions. They can they have the same syntax and they are used in a similar manner while some string functions though they may be having a similar syntax in worksheet and in VBA but the arguments may behave different dis, differently whereas some string functions would be altogether different and having distinct syntax in worksheet and VBA. For example, the worksheet replace function has a different uh, syntax as compared to the replace VBA uh, function. All these functions have been explained in detail in our section Excel text and string functions. You may go to this section for a detailed discussion. The left function works in both worksheet and VBA. It returns the specified number of characters in a text string starting from the leftmost or the first character. This function is used to extract a substring from the left part of the text. So we have this syntax where text string represents the text from which the specific number of characters are extracted and character numbers they specify the number of characters which need to be extracted from the left side of the text string. We come to the mid function which again works for both worksheet and VBA and returns a specified number of characters in a text string starting from a specified position. Note here that the left function starts from the leftmost character while the mid function starts from a specified character number. So you can use this function to extract or return the specified number of characters from anywhere in between the text string. So to extract the leftmost characters, use the left function. You have a similar right function to extract or return the rightmost character starting from the last character. And mid function from anywhere in between the text string. So this is the syntax. This is the text string from which a substring is, is extracted. Start number specifies the number of character from where you start the extraction and character number specifies the number of characters to be extracted or returned. Now we come to the len function which is a simple function which returns the number of characters in a text string. It returns the length of a text string with this syntax. So the replace the replace function in worksheet replaces part of a text string with a new substring based on specified number of characters and starting from a specified position. Looking at the syntax, old text argument represents the text string in which a substring is replaced. Start number mentions the character number from where you start the, the substring which you need to replace. Number of characters mentions the number of characters in the substring which is to be replaced. 
the new text is the substring the new substring which will replace the number of characters specified from a specific start number whereas the replace function in VBA is used to return a string in which a specified substring is replaced a specified number of times with another substring looking at the syntax expression is the text string in which you do the replacement find is the substring which you find and which is to be replaced replace is the substring which replaces the find substring start is the character number from where you start looking at the find substring within expression which is the text string count is the number of times you do the replacement for example you if you want to replace the character a with character b and if a occurs five times in a, in in the expression you may mention count as three so which will replace the first three occurrences of a and these will be replaced by b compare argument we will discuss while going through the VBA codes it specifies the type of comparison for the find substring now we come to the in string function in which is used in VBA this returns the position or the character number the number of the character in which a string or a substring first occurs within another string so looking at the syntax start argument mentions the character number or the from where you start looking at the substring you may start from the third or fourth uh, from the third character and omit the first two characters to look at the substring so the substring argument is what you are looking at which first occurs within the string expression and the in string argument will return the character number at which substring first occurs in the string text expression compare is again the type of comparison in which we will discuss later now let's go to the visual basic editor and go and run through the macros which illustrate using these string functions in VBA and all these macros are located in the standard code module now we come to module 1 you see all these standard code modules from module 1 to module 5 we are looking at the first macro which we will go through which uses the len and mid functions to determine characters appearing at odd numbers within a text string so this macro will return the odd number characters within a text expression you can have a similar code for returning the even number positions in a text string we activate sheet 1 these are the dim statements we assign the string variable str to cell a2 value coming to sheet 1 cell a2 is hello 
then we loop through each character using the len function the len function will return the total number of characters that is the total length of the str variable of the string so so from the first to the last character in the string we check if the position of that character is odd i divided by 2 the mod function divides i by 2 if the remainder is 1 it is at an odd position we return that character which is at odd position into the substring str odd which gets added to itself with the new odd position character and here we return this odd substring odd uh, number of character odd character substring in a message box and we also enter the value in a3 now i'll press f5 to execute this code to execute this macro so we get a message box so cell a2 contains the string hello the odd number characters the first character h the second character l uh, the uh, sorry the third character l the fifth character o so these are returned in the message box hlo and these are also returned in cell a3 as mentioned in the code so this is how we have used the len and mid functions to determine to extract a substring comprising of characters appearing at odd number positions within a text string so now coming to the next macro we use the left len and mid functions to return initials of a full name so we return a substring comprising of initials followed by a dot and followed by space so each initial will be followed by a dot and space and each initial of a full name will be returned we activate sheet one here we have the dim statements here we assign the string variable comprising of the name to this string and here we assign the value of cell a6 to this string variable so a6 is this full name a alec thomas stone hansen now to return the initials we again loop from the first character to the last character in the string here we determine if it is the first character and if the first character is not a blank space then it will be an initial if the first character is a blank space here the first character is a blank space so it will not be an initial so if it is an initial then we start with the substring which returns the initial followed by the dot and space this is the substring and we start with the first initial followed by a dot now if it is not the first character then we have two possibilities we could have the first initial we need to determine if it is a first initial or a second or a subsequent initial so here if our substring does not comprise of an initial of any uh, character then this will be the first initial and in case of a first initial we start building the substring with the initial followed by a dot and in case of multiple initials subsequent initials the substring has already been started so we add the existing substring to the new initial by giving a space 
the initial and followed by a dot. So this is how we return the substring comprising of initials followed by a dot and a space. And here we convert all the initials in the substring to uppercase, return it as a message box and enter the value of the substring in cell A7. And here we also return the length of the new substring in a message box. Now I am again pressing F5 on my keyboard to execute the macro. So it returns the initials ATSH each followed by a dot and a space. This is the length of the new substring. And coming to sheet 1, the value is also entered in cell A7. Here you can see the length. So this is a substring which returns the initials of a full name in cell A6. We hope you enjoyed watching this tutorial and you found it useful. Thank you.